Hi, I'm Larry Karaszewski, and this is Trailers from Hell. I have a secret weakness uh, for sp movies based on spiraling bestsellers, you know, old-fashioned pop boilers. Uh, 30 characters running around in one location, uh, rich people, poor people, countesses, criminals, uh, spouses cheating on each other. Uh, novelist Arthur Haley was kind of the master at this. He, he would put out these, you know, huge books with one-word titles like Airport. Well, today's movie we're going to look at is Hotel. Now their motion picture cameras take you into the heart of Hotel. Hotel is where things happen. You boys waiting for us? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hotel is where a duchess can deal with a thief. With that busted headlight, they'd pick me up before I got out of the city. I expect a smart man like you can solve that problem. When people ask me what film scared you the most as a kid, I have a very strange answer. Hotel. <laughs> yes, hotel. Technically, there's nothing terrifying about this film. Well, maybe Kevin McCarthy's unbuttoned shirt, which you'll see in a few moments. But what traumatized my younger self was the last five minutes of the film. Spoiler alert, if you can have a spoiler for a movie that's 50 years old. Hotel ends with an elevator crash. A cable snaps and a character dies, and for some reason it just freaked little me out. And I refused for years to get in an elevator. Uh, my mom hated that, and she would yell at me, but I always made her take the stairs. Anyway, but enough about me. Let's talk Hotel, the movie. Watching it today, the most frightening thing about it is not the elevator. It's, it's the casual racism. Melvin Douglas plays the old coot who owns the hotel and is trying to hold on to tradition. In this case, tradition means not letting black people check in. Uh, Kevin McCarthy is the character who represents the modern ways. He's presented as a buffoon, a villain who just wants to put in uh, conveyor belts to uh, get people checking in and out faster. Other members of the cast are much more fun. Uh, there's the always great Rod Taylor as the hotel manager. Uh, he's juggling all the balls, including the very lovely Catherine Spock. But the actor who steals, and I mean literally steals the film, is Carl Malden as the hotel thief. It's an almost wordless performance with uh, Malden snatching keys and sneaking around rooms in the middle of the night. Uh, and these actors all pop because Arthur Haley's Big Fat Book was adapted by a very talented screenwriter named Wendell Mays. Mays was an expert when it came to this kind of multi-character film. He did The Poseidon Adventure, Advise and Consent, Anatomy of a Murder. He knew just how to give a star a solid character to play with just enough dialogue and a minimal amount of screen time. This movie also looks pretty damn good. Edith Head did the uh, costumes, and Charles Lang was the director of photography. Lang doesn't really uh, get talked about enough. He's a DP on Some Like It Hot, One-Eyed Jacks, Charade, The Magnificent Seven, Bob, Ted, Carol, and Alice. Such a diverse resume, all with just one thing in common. The camera is always in the right place. Uh, people often give directors the credit, the screenwriters the credit, but the DP is an important part of the team, and uh, for this movie, that's why I wanted to single out Charles Lang. Mm -hmm. 